day late with this video. I know I said the last video with the officer's cap that it, in the other video would be uploaded today, yesterday, but uh, you know, I just had I was busy. Um, I'm sorry, completely forgot about it. Um, my plan was even to do it at like one in the morning, but I just I just couldn't. Um, so. Next item is another hat, this time the German M43 Field Grey Wool Field Cap. Uh, it's assumed it was introduced in 1943. There are pictures of mountain troops and that wearing them pre-war, officers wearing them pre uh, pre-war, before 1943, sorry. Um, it's assumed it was actually introduced uh, in 1942 for officers in the field to wear and it was around I believe for mountain troops and ski troops around 19 around 1940 1941 uh, possibly even pre-war I'm not sure you'll notice I have this nice peak on it um, when you get one it'll always be flat flat peak, almost like a snapback cap, so what you got to do with that then, if you want a nice peak on it, is fold it, you know, give it a nice fold, and then me, uh, put it in your bread bag, nice and tight, and that will hold the shape of the peak. You'll notice it has two buttons. These are, I believe, post-war ones that, uh, that came with it because they're silver. Um, you don't know this, so I gotta get those a little more accurate. And then when you undo them, they fold down to about your chin. Um, and this is for when it's really cold, especially on the Eastern Front and in the Battle of the Bulge. You pull this down, and you have all that. Um, there is somewhere on the side here, right there, a side hook for it on the inside, which is a bit weird to hang it up, because when it's folded, then it's hanging on the inside, backwards, and it just works out. Um, some people do button this down and put it on, but if you just saw what I did there, just pulling it over the peak and you know, getting it like that, you can maybe, um, oh yeah, you can maybe even just as easily wear it as such. Um, side view of it, you'll see, covers my ear all around. just below the chin. I thought when I bought it it would cover and go at least here, but I'm pretty satisfied with this, this as well. Um, this is also for my infantry ROA uh, gear. Um, as I said before in the previous video, I do ROA Ruskiv that I the Army of Volunteer Corps for Russia. Um, and I have other videos on the way. Uh, we'll have a few more of the kit that I have, and my equipment video will be out soon. Um, so, until next time, Red Army 1, signing off, comrades.